Hi everyone, I'm Charlene and today I have some more new fabrics to show you. So I was, I had myself convinced that I wasn't going to be getting any more fabrics this month, which was very silly of me. Um, so we got a huge, huge delivery of dead stock fabrics and some of these are true designer dead stock fabrics and the quality is just I just honestly could not resist them. Um, everything here is dead stock. So I'll to the whole show you. So oh, it's so lovely. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to start off with this beautiful. It is called Autumn Check Pure Wool Bookle Fabric, and it is. 100% pure wool this one is manufactured in the UK so they're all either manufactured in the UK or some of them a lot of them have come from Europe and um, a lot of the wools are from either if they're not from a UK mill they're from an Italian mill and the quality is just unbelievable then a lot of the other dead stock fabrics are coming from somewhere in Europe as well so this one has this so this is a wee bit lighter than a coat coat and weight you could use it for a coat because it would be lined or for a jacket so it does it feels like wool i will say that um so if you don't like that sort of scratchier feel of wool now i'm not saying it's not scratchy that it's going to be uncomfortable to wear i mean it still feels lovely but if you do have that slight sort of irritation um or if you don't like it then i wouldn't recommend this but the colors of it is so beautiful i love it it still feels very soft and um, it just has that wool texture to it and it is slightly more textured on one side and then smoother on the back and yes it has this navy and like a rusty orange and a yellow check on into it and it's just absolutely gorgeous i love i wasn't sure about getting this one and then i convinced myself that i needed it so this is going to be a jacket and um, probably like a sort of a jacket style a wee bit longer than the one that i've just made recently and i'm possibly thinking about doing a quilted lining which i think would be really lovely and in this sort of a brownie kind of check my mum also has her eye on this fabric so we're gonna have to make sure we don't go out in the same <laughs> in the same jackets at the same time um but she's thinking of making more of like a blazer style so not like a not like a suit blazer but that sort of more casual like sort of countryside kind of blazer um if you know what i mean so that's what she's thinking about for this one so she didn't know i'd ordered it and she told me she really liked it and i was like oh well you can have a feel of it first so yeah um really love this one and the colors are just perfect for autumn then we have so this one is get it up so this is autumn checks with lurex cotton so it's a hundred percent well 99 percent cotton and one percent lurex so you can see there's a really faint it's more like a bronze and a gold line just running through some of these checks here so it's like every other line um going down the ways and it is all oh, the colors they're even nicer in real life so we have the greens this deeper like burgundy magenta sort of a color purple or the navy and then this lighter green here and it's just it's it's so so soft and um, we still have quite a bit of this one in stock honestly it feels so so smooth it is beautiful it is just oh this one i knew straight away it's just my colors absolutely my colors and yeah oh it just feels amazing it's so so soft it is ever so slight, slightly sheer and um, when you hold it up to the light you can see through it but i wouldn't say that it is uh um i wouldn't say you need to line it or anything if it's you're using for shirt or you know whenever it's against your body you'll probably not see through it and um, but you might want to consider lining it 
Um, I personally won't. I will be making a shirt in this and I think a shirt in this. I actually think something like this. This is the Fibre Mood Lulu from their last issue. And I think with those big massive puffy sleeves, it would be beautiful. Yeah, definitely be puffy sleeves I think in this, but it is so soft. You would nearly say there's viscose in it. It's that kind of like silky softness. Um more so than like even more than a like a cotton lawn is very soft and crisp. This is just very, very soft and silky. Um really beautiful, just absolutely stunning. And I think it'll be nice like coming obviously perfect for autumn. It'll be really nice coming into winter as well, especially with that wee bit of a sparkle in it. Um just to brighten it up. I think it'll be really, really lovely. So yeah, oh I just love this one so much. I think it's just it's just so beautiful. So then next we have a stretch cotton tensa. So this one again is X Designer. Very famous designer. And oh goodness. Um it's so beautiful. So it was really the colour of this one just sold me straight away love this really deep brown so i do have a perf brown um billy trousers cut out in a tensile linen slub it is a lot drapier and it's a wee bit lighter it's not just as rich as this and i seen this and i thought oh I might need two two pairs of brown trousers it does have quite a good amount of stretch in it so i think even for like a fitted dress or a jumpsuit this would be perfect or more fitted perf trousers the named clothing tinny trousers are possibly going to be an option now in this because it is they think they would be more like like jeggings that sort of really fitted trouser um i think that'd be really really lovely or yeah fitted dress in this gorgeous really nice but it's that really deep deep chocolatey brown shade and it is just gorgeous feels so silky and so quite crisp which would be that blend of the tensile and cotton and um, give the 60% cotton 30% tensile and 2% light breath so yeah mm, just beautiful really really lovely absolutely gorgeous the color is just amazing and yeah I love that we added a stretch in it it's just beautiful so yes, another designer dead stock there. Next, so we have loads and loads of wool suitings in and uh, different colours. So we have this grey, which is the dark grey. There's also a navy and a red and a like a charcoal grey. And then we have a few checked ones as well. So all in really lovely like neutral colours and perfect for making trousers, blazers, dresses, jumpsuits, all that sort of thing. Um, so I, yes, chose, there was three I was debating between and they were all grey, just slightly various shades. Well, some had a check, some didn't. But this is the, as I said, the Pure Will Crepe. It is very similar to the black, Billy trousers that I've already made, the original pair that I made. I wear them at least once a week, if not twice a week. I absolutely adore them. Just the, the fall of them and the drape is just perfect. And this fabric is near enough, exactly the same. So, yeah, I'm so excited to have another pair of Billy trousers. There was a slightly lighter colour and it had the called Elephant Grey, so it was a cashmere blend which really, really was appealing to me, but to say it's slightly lighter colour and I do find the lighter colour trousers slightly harder to wear. So I thought if I go for the darker colour, I know I'll definitely get plenty of wear out of it. And I mean, even looking at it with this top here, they're going to be lovely. There's so many things it's going to work with and I'm going to get so much wear out of these. So we will be doing more um, tutorials and reels and maybe a few YouTube videos as well on how to work with wool 
and sooty and all those sort of things so obviously they do take a wee bit more care you can't just throw them in the washing machine either need to be dry cleaned they all need to be pre-shrunk all that sort of thing so we are going to be going into loads of detail about how to look after all your wool fabrics as well um but yeah oh i'm so excited to get these billy trousers made i think my original autumn sewing plans are just destroyed <laughs> now um i have so many new things that i want to get making and then Atelier Burnett's 10 year anniversary collection is out and it is just so beautiful Um, it's all online now and yeah I'm, I'm starting to feel weak again I'm going to end up buying some more fabric Um, and yeah so then the last one we have another dead stock fabric and it is a cotton jersey 100% cotton jersey so there's no elastian in it which means it has been knitted but it has a really really nice stretch and recovery for a fabric that doesn't have elastian or lycra in it and i just love this color i love the stripes i love a striped t-shirt um i have so many i probably don't need another one but i don't have one in this color so it's kind of that like rosewood sort of a peachy pink um brown peach pink kind of shade which i love it, this one was manufactured in France and Cezanne, my favourite brand, had, did have a t-shirt similar to this before. I don't know if it's actually their dead stock fabric but it reminded me of it so much. So yeah, this is going to be a t-shirt which will be lovely paired with these or it'll be lovely like this wee outfit. So if I have trousers, jacket, and a t-shirt oh i'm gonna love it It'll be so nice so yeah i um i think this is gonna work really really well in my wardrobe with everything with all my trousers jeans all that sort of thing and yeah the stripes just a really nice size as well it's not too big not too small very classic style um yeah so that is my little dead stock fabric haul um, we have loads of really, really beautiful dead stock fabrics and a lot of these, a lot of coat and coating fabrics, a lot of sitting, um, and then all the, there's loads of like prints as well in there, um, cotton lawns and viscose and stuff. So, and a lot of this, once it sells out, that'll be it because obviously it is dead stock. You can't always guarantee that there will be more of it available. So yeah, if you see anything, I'll definitely snap it up. These, oh the wool sittings are just so so good so so beautiful they feel amazing so yeah i'm really excited to get working on them and yeah i have been making things recently i should have another video very soon with a catch-up of everything that i have been making recently um yeah i am nearly finished my trousers my tromplon tromplon trousers and um, the Maison Fauve ones and a few other things that I have cut out and started as well. So hopefully I'll have a wee catch up soon with everything that I've been making and we'll see how my list of autumn sewing plans is actually progressing and how many things have been knocked off and added on since that first video. So yeah, I hope everyone is keeping well and you are all getting plenty of sewing time and I will chat to you all soon. Bye.